taking a look at his little claims. And we take a look at the real fact of the matter here, which has to do with what we see in nature. We can straight out say that he is wrong. So for those of you out here watching these videos of him and you come and you see a video like mine or other people that talk to his claims, realize we're not really arguing with him. He's disallowed any kind of debate. And besides, he doesn't really have the knowledge to debate these things. I mean, he builds straw in left and right. I was originally going to just completely tear apart his video point by point, but there's no re there's no purpose. All you have to do is show that his video's premise is baseless, and that the rest of the video falls apart. Um, so again, the, the premise is baseless because number one, it tries to fals falsely limit what can be used as evidence against his claim. And when you actually use the real evidence that's out there, that is mutation rates that have been measured, and just some simple math and some, you know, averaging of figures and stuff just to make it easy, you don't even have to be accurate and you can lowball it. I mean, hedge on the side of the creationist and really lowball your figures. You get a large potential for mutation, beneficial mutations of uh, 6 to the 16th. Um, I think that's what it was. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description over there. Now, speaking again on creationists, uh, I was actually writing a rant regarding certain things that creationists do. Primarily, it's the censorship that they do. Because it's censorship is only needed for one thing, and that is to quell voices of opposition that can directly argue against your claims. Venom Fang X does this. He censors his videos. He doesn't allow video responses or comments from people who can debunk him, can completely outright refute him. Matt Quigley is the same way. Uh, I posted a four-part video series on one of his videos where I basically destroyed his uh, 16 questions he wanted to ask. And this is where I was getting my figures from earlier because they kind of line up here. And he removed those videos. He said I was being disrespectful to the audience. Well, the fact is I respect the audience quite a bit. I want those people out there that don't have the knowledge that I've acquired over several years of personal study or the knowledge that people like Thunderfoot have from many years of academic study. I want them to know this stuff. I want them to understand that the science is out there and the science is pretty much accurate. I mean, there's always going to be little uh, conflicts in science about specifics. Like one of the strong, one of the uh, claims that creationists love to trump out is, hey, there's conflict in, between scientists about the theory of evolution. Well, that's true about little aspects of the theory of evolution, not about the fact that the theory of evolution accounts for and models quite accurately the organisms we see. There's really no question about that. When we get videos from Vin Fang X or from Matt Quigley or any of those people, for those of us that are in the know and we have this knowledge and we can back it up, we really need to counter them. I know some people say, well, don't feed his ego. It's not necessarily about feeding his ego. It's about countering the claims that he puts out. If those claims aren't countered, then people who do not know any better because they simply haven't gone out and researched this or they're young people, you know, the children and teenagers of today, they are going to believe these creationist arguments, even if these, you know, given that these creationist arguments are completely baseless and without merit. So we need to counter them. Professional scientists quite often don't take part in this debate simply because they're too busy with what they do. We have other science, we have other professional scientists who have moved into the realm of pu this public debate, such as Richard Dawkins, um, to help quell these creationist claims so that they do not infiltrate our society and essentially retard people in regards to science. 
the fact is, science doesn't have all the answers, but science has the best answers. Without science, you wouldn't be watching this video. Without science, many of you wouldn't be around today. Without science, you wouldn't be talking on your cell phones, you wouldn't be watching your TVs, you wouldn't be driving your cars. Without science, we wouldn't have even begun to understand what the nature of existence is. Uh, and when I speak to existence, I realize I'm speaking to the totality of existence, everything that exists. We know that there's a quantum world that's quite different than the world that we experience, where objects can disappear and then reappear in a completely different spot. It's called quantum tunneling. We know that we can't pin down an object in the quantum realm. Heisenberg uncertainty principle makes that impossible. We can't know its location or its position with any perfect precision. We know that there's a very great likelihood that the three spatial dimensions and the single time dimension that we experience in daily life are not the only dimensions that exist. We know how the solar system formed by observing you know, evidence in the solar system itself as well as looking out into space and seeing protoplanetary disks. So what we get from science is immensely greater than what we could ever get from creationists. Creationism is the antithesis to knowledge. Creationism is the antithesis to intellect. It literally tells us not to think, it tells us not to ask why, and not to find out. It says we already have the answer. You need to look no further for it. There has been a uh, conflict between faith and science for millennia, starting even before Christians. And every time, even though science may be repressed at a per during a period such as the Dark Ages, it always resurges. Scientific thought and scientific methodologies always resurge. They always come back. They do this because they have the power to actually tell us what existence really is. And they give us the power to manipulate the fundamental processes in such a way that we can build things, such as the video camera I'm using to record this and the microphone I'm using to speak for recording this. Faith can't do that. Religious belief can do nothing that powerful. For those creationists out there that feel they need to censor, there is only one reason why you feel you need to do that, and it's because your arguments, your claims, are without merit. And if you actually allowed them to be juxtaposed against real science, your arguments would be completely obliterated. It's that simple. So, again, this video doesn't go out to Venom Fang X, it goes out to all of you. This video doesn't necessarily go out to Matt Quigley, even though I kind of laugh at him on, on his little thing. He deleted me from his response, and I simply told him that, you know, I would, my videos would show up again uh, associated with his video in the related videos column, and they are. So, uh, I like to laugh at you for that, Mac. And I also want to say that all you creationists out there that censor videos, you're cowards. As simple as that. You're afraid and rightfully so, that your position is uh, so tenuous that if it ever had to truly compete with science, it would be utterly destroyed. And it is.